Ben? Yeah, Ben's in the break. Really? What do you have to say to that one? <laughs> yeah, Benny. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Oh, Come on. Recording device I have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the stories that were just told about his career, about his, you know, the downs of the GDT, the ups for the stage one, you know, not getting a, a contract and coming to this team and... Come on, Ben! Riding his bike at the Tour de France and getting close to the second yellow jersey. A stage win is going to be here today. Yes, Ben! Yes! Yes! Fuck yes, Ben! This is a uh, big performance from him. No, Connor. He's blown away the competition. And yes! The GC, more importantly, he is now a stage winner of the Tour. What a day for him to remember. Bon dia, and welcome to another episode of Tristan Take Video. It's Monday afternoon, and I thought I was going to be back in Girona by now. But I've decided to stay in Andorra, as you can see, for another day. Howdy. What have you got for me? Bit of beef. Get you through. <laughs> Get you through. Thank you. All right, so what are we doing today? Uh, I actually don't know the route. Oh. Climbing, just some hours, uninterrupted, and hopefully it doesn't rain. Yeah, after you. Let's try again. I did the intro down near Ben's house. Couldn't really hear anything. So we're starting here. Welcome to another episode of Tristan Take Video. It is Monday. Yesterday I did three climbs of Andorra and I was about to leave Andorra today. And Ben said, do you want to go for a ride? One of the last rides he does before the Tour de France. So we are out for a bike ride. We got how many hours on the cards? Four. Aiming for four hours, maybe four climbs? Yeah. Four or five climbs. Then Ben goes, to the tour on Wednesday, first ever Tour de France. Big news, he said we'd check back in with him. So here we are, riding our bike. So our first climb of today, we are currently riding up the Port de Cabus that goes right up to the Spanish border actually. The Port de Cabus, all the way to the top, is about 15 kilometers. It climbs maybe 800 meters? No, no, a thousand. Climbs a thousand, a thousand meters. 1,100 or a thousand okay. from Lama Sana. Ben has Fartlek today. Yeah. How do you translate Fartlek? It's kind of free speed, so free to push when you want, and that's kind of it. It's kind of just running term, isn't it? There's the famous method: push when you want to signpost, yep. then back it off and push. All right, so that's what we're doing. Let's keep cruising, and we'll check back in with you shortly. <laughs> So, Porto Cabus, about 15 Ks. We have done since we left uh, La Masana, and we've already climbed 1,080 meters. So, that gives you an idea of the kind of climbing you do when you're in Andorra. Put the jacket on, because it's about 10 degrees up here. Let's descend down the hill. <laughs> Oh, 
So part of fart lack is Ben is gonna push the pedals. Push the pedals? Yep, on an unspecified time and power. Unspecified pedal pushing for Ben. I'm just gonna try and keep up. You'll be fine. He's done it before. Not when you're a week out from the tour. <laughs> <laughs> the story's a bit different. All right, let's do it. At least it's not that. I had a while ago, 10 minutes at 4.40. Yeah, that was filthy. 8 minutes recovery. Well, that didn't last long. I mean, at least at least one of us is ready for the Tour de France and it ain't me. All right, you proved your point. <laughs> You're ready. Yeah, I guess the Tour de France is a little different to every other race. You want to be ready for the Tour de France. Yeah, you hope so after Dauphiné and Romandy. You can't just get around the Tour de France. No, you want to aim a little bit higher than that. So we're on to our second climb. This is the Cold Ordino. I've mentioned this a bunch of times in the last couple of videos. Now we are doing it again. Cold Ordino from Ordino. 10 Ks at 8%. As you saw, Ben was doing a bit of the old fart lek down the bottom, doing his best to drop me, which he, <laughs> he managed just. So uh, feeling right for the tour. After Romandy, after Dauphiné. Yeah, as I was saying before, you'd hope so. After being up there with those big boys like G and and Richie, so to be honest, I'm just nervous for the first two days. Yeah. The rest of the tour is fine. Whatever is that because they're GC days? More or less. Yeah. But just like stress and first day of the tour and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. once you get through that, you'll find a more relaxed me. And then you got the next two and a half weeks. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy from there, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> What happened? Do you want to tell us? Yeah, I've been there a couple days ago with you for yeah, the with second me. time. I think I grabbed too much front brake on a very steep, wet downhill corner. And yeah, I just went down very slowly and bruised my hand. So a little bit on your elbow. Yeah, had a bit of a scare. Could have been broken. So it's not. I wasn't going to put this in the vlog, like, because it's shit talking about crashing, obviously. But yeah, little lay down before the tour. But, but it wasn't stupid. No, nothing no, was no. stupid. We're it was doing a steep downhill corner. 15, 20 k's an hour. And we're going very slow. So anyway, you will have started by the, the tour by the time this comes out. Yes, no one knows. No one knows. And yeah. Ben's fine. And he's going to go and win a stage. Oh, fuck. Jinxed it. <laughs> So we're on our third climb of the day. This is called El Forn. El Forn. This is actually a climb I've never done before. 5.2 Ks, 7%. So tell me, a lot of people are wondering, in the lead up to the Tour de France, what sorts of training are you doing? Or explain the last few weeks to me. You can probably go from Romandy. So kind of tell me from Romandy, yeah. Found myself in really good form there. But actually going into Romandy, I did a lot of short efforts a lot of the stuff I was aiming at was that VO2, five to 10 minutes. And then after Dauphiné, I've done barely any efforts, but I did have the other day, some four minute efforts, where you started like six watts per kilo, then seven watts per kilo. That's right. Then eight watts per kilo. So those four minute efforts you were doing, you did, when you say six and seven, then eight watts a kilo, what were you doing? You were doing two and a half minutes at six or something? Yeah, two and a half at six watts per kilo. Uh, 
a minute at 7 watts per kilo and then 30 seconds at 8 watts per kilo. To replicate the first two days of the Tour de France, I had to do that twice. Second set of efforts was three minutes full, all in, 30 seconds rest, then 30 seconds sprint. So again, four minutes in total. Yes, I do that twice. So, I mean, for those watching who have never trained for the Tour de France, I guarantee that's everybody watching. You've done all your work in your races. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the hard work is done in April. Everyone trains like a maniac in April and stuff. By the time you do all these races, you just need to control. Focus on, I guess, be light. But really, it wasn't, it's not too crazy after Dauphiné okay. at all. And at the time of filming, the Dauphiné was, you finished the Dauphiné two weeks ago. Yeah, and I actually felt terrible after Dauphiné. So I was trying to relax as much as possible. <laughs> you wouldn't have known about it given the results. <laughs> After did the Dauphiné you... comes fourth in a stage, felt terrible. Fuck. I, I didn't, I felt great in the race, but after, okay. you can't underestimate how tired you can get. Sure, I mean, it's a nice climb. And then, yeah, tell us about your TT work. The Tour de France is a couple of uh, TTs. So you've been working on your time trial. You had a really fucking good time trial at the Dauphiné. Mm. Your time trialing's come up. What have you been doing to improve that? In our training camp, we were doing like, three hours on the TT bike, but trying to be in position the whole time. Super uncomfortable, but I think it was worth it. And then lots of core work where you're always shrugging your neck yep. and putting your shoulder blades together and trying to hold that for as long as possible. Do you have any advice for budding time trialists? I said the core is just the main, one of the main things is stability and make sure you control your breathing. Once you panic, your heart rate goes up, and then you're kind of screwed because it kind of never goes down. Yeah. So, so staying calm, staying controlled. Yeah, and then the core work with the stability. Keeping so your core you're just stable. Dead straight. No one who does well on a TT looks bad on a TT bike. Yeah. Maybe Froomey. Maybe. But he was a freak back then, so yeah. that was that. That guy can do whatever he wants. <laughs> That's enough about talking, training. Ben's gonna go off and train. He's doing a little effort up this climb. I'm gonna cruise. Enjoy. Thank you. Let's go. See you soon. Lying on the ground. Lay down. Be Dave horsing around. So if we go down Bachelors, we'll still have time. Down to Bachelors? Yeah. First you feel like doing. Ah, that's Unless we do Ordeal on the backside. You're gonna do Bachelors in the tour, so let's do Bachelors. Yeah, we probably should do it. Bachelors it is. Practice for the Tour de France. before it gets steep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's about to get real steep. So this is the Bechelis. If you watch the last episode, which I actually filmed yesterday, 6.6 Ks, 8.4%. This bottom bit's filthy. Ben's about to go and do an effort. Are you? Maybe. Well, I haven't decided. It's, already, it's kind of steep enough. It's an effort so just going up here. an effort, I guess. Yeah, true. Sixteen percent, fourteen percent, enough percent. Ben and I are rolling up the last K and a half of Bechelis. So Bechelis is super steep at the bottom as you've seen, and then it kind of flattens out towards the top. They're riding it this year in stage 14, I think. Yeah, I think so. Right before the second rest day. They're coming all the way from France, so it's a long day. And this is the last climb of the day. And we were just talking about how on this flatter section, it's important to be with a group. Tell me your perspective on that day. It's a stage for you, hopefully. Yeah, I think a lot of guys will think that 
I live in Andorra, yeah. but uh, I really like this kind of stage. The climb is really hard though. But yeah, I think a guy will win solo you think who it's actually solo? attacks here. Okay. These final Ks, when they flatten off, I think whoever goes here and then can descend well, wins the stage. So guys will be sending it up this bit where we are right now, which is going to be super fast. Yeah. Like it's... But that's the point, you know, if you're strong, you get away here, you're gone. And then how much do you I, need over the top to stay away? I don't think you need much, huh? Probably. Yeah, no one's... If you're chasing, you're not going to catch a guy. Yeah. He's got 20 seconds here. 20 seconds? That's all it takes? I reckon. Okay. I mean, it's fast down. Yeah. You can't really go too much faster on the descent here. No. So that's Ben's prediction for that stage. Hopefully he's going to be up there attacking. Yes. <laughs> that would be the aim. That's the aim. It's the one stage of the tour I have my eyes on the most. Maybe I shouldn't release this video until after it. Ah, gene scene doesn't really matter. No. You can always have hope. Not superstitious. It's, it's better to hope than to try jinx yourself. No? True. Oh, the serenity. Do your fart leg sprint. Alright, that special is done. This is the descent they're doing in the Tour de France. It's pretty hairy. Luckily, Ben's a good descender. All right, so we got we got half an hour left. Have we decided what we're gonna do? Turn around, and go back up there. We've done three and a half hours, 88 kilometers, and 2,700 meters climbing. Finish off the last half an hour to get to four hours. Just come down, Bachelors. Are we gonna go back up? Only one of us is doing the Tour de France, so you can make the decision. Get those views, get that sunset. Get the extra climbing straight away. Get the extra climbing in the legs. <laughs> Literal U-bolt. Yeah. Oh yeah? Oh, sick. So you were just mentioning how this is your favorite climb. I did my three favorite climbs yesterday. Do you think this is your favorite climb in the whole of Andorra? Well, actually no, it changed my mind. Arkless Valley, an Arkless climb, and then this. Why do you like this one so much? I like the mossy green, the fact there's barely any cars. There's nice homes to look at, and it's also not a big road. It's perfectly smooth the whole way, so. Ticks all the boxes, no? Ticks all the boxes. All right, we're at 3.52, about 3.53. Do we want to chuck a Yui? I think it's a U-turn at the next U-turn. U-turn at the next U-turn. All right, time to U-bolt. Back home to get to four hours and 10 minutes. What a day, what a day. So we've done 100 k's, pretty much on the dot. 3,170 meters climbing. Good day of climbing. The climbs we did were... Caboose, Cordino, El Forn, Bacillus, Bacillus. Five climbs, all very good. Good training, bit of fartlek. I just tried to hang on as best I could. You're doing well. So we're gonna wish Ben all the best for the Tour of France. Thanks all, good cheers man, and I'll see you there. Yeah, fuck. we'll see you in Paris. <laughs> oh yeah, and for you guys, let's get a celebrity endorsement. Yeah. You can end. like, subscribe, keep watching. I love them, so uh, <laughs> keep making them. Yes. All right, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Tristan, take video soon.
Adeu.